standing here with uh, Kellen Ritz, who just beat, well, the, the Dutch number one, Michael van Gerben. How does it feel to beat, um, well, the crowd favorite in his home country? Uh, well, I mean, I've beat him before. That's the third time we've played, but on stage is a different game. You know, I've just walked off there, my hand's still quite going now, but when you're playing him in front of his home crowd, it's always tough. But, you know, I think it was a scrappy game from both ways, but it's nice to win them scrappy games. Yeah, you b both of you missed uh, quite some doubles here. What, what was the, the turning point for you in this game, the, the most important point? I think it was to break the go 5-4. I always thought if I break them, I need to have a good solid leg on your darts. I mean, you know, if you go out in 12, I know I didn't, but I started well, turn 140, you know, and just lucky enough he didn't capitalise on my poor start, really. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this is this will be your first Euro Tour uh, or quarter final. Is this like some little achievement you're well, like especially happy about now? I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's nice to win games in the European Tour. I've, I've said it before. I, I haven't played well on stage since the World Championship, but if you're winning games like that and you're getting through, you can't complain. Mm -hmm. Next up is uh, Simon Whitlock. He has played very, uh, very uh, good games in the first round and the, the, the rounds um, after it were a little um, messy. What do you think about him as an opponent? opponent? I mean, Simon's a great player, you know, look what he's done over the last you know, years he's played. You know, when he was, you know, in the world final, I wasn't even playing darts. And to play someone like that in the quarterfinal of European Tour, it's really be tough for me, but hopefully that'll be tough for Simon. Mm -hmm. Kellen Ritz in the quarterfinal here in the Netherlands. Good luck, Kellen. Thank you. Cheers.